So concussion by definition is a functional injury with no uh, findings on imaging. So there's no structural damage with a concussion that's visible on any type of imaging. There's no bleeding or hemorrhage in the brain that would be visible on imaging. There's no other, you know, skull fractures or anything like that. So that is concussion is basically a, a, a functional injury. It changes how the brain functions, doesn't change anything with structure, and the findings are not visible on any type of conventional imaging technology like MRI or CT scans. A bruise on the brain is called a cerebral contusion. Now, this is present in more severe forms of brain injury. If you categorize brain injury, concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury. You see bruising in 20 to 30 percent of patients that have more severe forms of brain injury. So this is stuff that's found on on imaging. If you were to do a CT scan, you would see uh, micro hemorrhages and bruising uh, on the tissue of the brain, which indicates that the injury is actually more severe than a concussion injury. So that's why that, that answer would have been incorrect. So the, the correct answer is that concussion does not cause um, bruising on the brain because if there is bruising, it means that the injury is actually more severe.